Tonight, President Donald Trump condemned the violent mob that stormed the nation's capital to overturn his election loss. Like all Americans, I am outraged by the violence, lawlessness, and mayhem. Rioters overran the Capitol for hours yesterday. The breach led to at least four deaths. In a White House video, President Trump claimed he immediately deployed federal forces. He did not. Several administration officials have since resigned in protest, including two cabinet members, the Transportation Secretary, and late tonight, the Education Secretary. WCCO's Aaron Hassanzo is here as calls to remove the president grow. Yeah, all six Democrats in Minnesota's delegation support removal, including Senators Amy Klobuchar and Tina Smith. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar says at least 60 lawmakers have expressed support for impeachment, but the pressure is building, as some say the nation can't just forgive and forget. To those who engage in the acts of violence and destruction, you do not represent our country. And to those who broke the law, you will pay. A day after his supporters terrorized the nation's capital to interrupt the democratic process, the president appears to be backing down. A new administration will be inaugurated on January 20th. My focus now turns to ensuring a smooth, orderly, and seamless transition of power. A dramatic shift from his speech Wednesday before protests turned to riots. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's theft involved. But the change of tone may be too late, as some Democratic lawmakers called to cut his term short. We need to immediately impeach and remove this president. He is a clear threat to our country and democracy. Members of the president's own party also putting him in the hot seat. Senator Lindsey Graham saying today that Wednesday's events tarnished Trump's term. The president needs to understand that his actions were the problem, not the solution. Minnesota Congresswoman Ilhan Omar says support for impeachment is growing. She's calling on Congress to reconvene and act immediately. We truly do not have the ability to watch him uh, stay in the presidency for another moment. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi would have to kickstart impeachment proceedings, but she hopes the vice president and cabinet will take action first by invoking the 25th Amendment. If the vice president and cabinet do not act, the Congress may be prepared to move forward with impeachment. Now, even if it's sped up, the impeachment process can still take weeks. And of course, by then, the president's term is already long over. Constitutional law expert David Schultz told me that invoking the 25th Amendment could be a quicker way to remove the president. But there's an appeal process to that as well, Frank.